Tretinex cream is used to treat acne. It helps to reduce the number and severity of acne pimples and promotes quick healing of pimples that do develop. Tretinex cream belongs to a class of medications called retinoids, and it works by affecting the growth of skin cells. Before applying Tretinex cream, make sure to wash your hands and gently clean the affected skin with a mild or soapless cleanser. Use your fingertips to apply a small amount of the cream as directed by your doctor, usually once daily at bedtime. Make sure not to apply it to the inner lip area, inside the nose slash mouth, or on cut, scraped, sunburned, or eczema-affected skin. Avoid getting the cream in your eyes, and wash your hands after using it to avoid accidentally getting it in your eyes. During the first few weeks of using Tretinex cream, your acne might appear worse because the medication is working on pimples forming inside the skin. It may take up to 8 to 12 weeks to notice results from this medication. Use it regularly at the same time each day, and do not use a larger amount or use it more often than recommended. The best type of medication for you to use will depend on the condition of your skin and your response to therapy. After using Tretinex cream, you may feel warmth or stinging on your skin. You might also experience redness, dryness, itching, scaling, mild burning, or worsening of acne in the first few weeks of using the cream. These effects should decrease with continued use. If your skin is very dry, you can use a daytime moisturizer. If any of these effects last or get worse, tell your doctor or pharmacist. Your doctor has prescribed this medication because the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Most people using this medication do not have serious side effects. However, if you notice blistering or crusting of the skin, severe burning or swelling, or skin discoloration, tell your doctor right away. A serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, but seek medical help if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching or swelling of the face, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice other effects not listed here, contact your doctor or pharmacist. And remember to consult your doctor for medical advice about any side effects. Before using tretinoin, make sure to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to it or to vitamin A-related drugs. This medication may also contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions, so it's important to discuss this with your pharmacist. Before using this medication, let your doctor or pharmacist know about your medical history, especially if you have eczema. Be aware that this medication may make your skin more sensitive to the sun, so it's important to limit your time in the sun and avoid tanning booths and sunlamps. You should also use sunscreen daily and wear protective clothing when you are outdoors. If you have recently used products containing sulfur, resorcinol, or salicylic acid, be cautious when using tretinoin and wait until the effects of these products have decreased on your skin. During pregnancy, only use this medication if it is clearly needed, as it may harm an unborn baby. Be sure to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. And if you are breastfeeding, consult your doctor before using this medication. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Also, avoid using other harsh or drying skin products on the treated area, such as hair perming solutions, alcohol-slash-lime-slash-menthol-containing products, medicated or abrasive soaps, and cosmetics with a strong drying effect. Additionally, benzoyl peroxide can be very irritating and may decrease the effectiveness of tretinoin if applied at the same time, so it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist about the safe use of these products. If this medication is ingested, it can be harmful. If someone has taken too much and is experiencing severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, call 911. Otherwise, contact a poison control center immediately. In the US, you can call 1-800-222-1222 for your local poison control center. If you're in Canada, contact your provincial poison control center. Do not give this medication to anyone else. You can use cosmetics, but make sure to wash your skin well before applying the medication. Some cosmetics and soaps might make your acne worse. Moisturizers should be okay to use. When you buy cosmetics, moisturizers, or other skin care products, look for non-comedogenic or non-acnogenic on the label. These products are less likely to make your acne worse. 
ask your doctor or pharmacist which products are safe to use. Remember, acne is not caused by dirt. Washing your skin too much or too hard can make your skin irritated and make your acne worse. If you forget to use the Tretinex cream, use it as soon as you remember if it's the same day. If you don't remember until morning, wait until your next dose is scheduled. Store Tretinex cream at room temperature. The gel form can catch fire, so keep it away from heat and flames, and don't smoke while using it. Keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. When you no longer need it or it expires, dispose of it properly. Ask your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.